Hey everyone, if you received an email from Google and it said you need to verify your Google Ads account, this is not spam. This is something you actually need to do. So the process, you know, it may not be required immediately, but if you receive this email, this is something you actually need to action to avoid any disruptions to your marketing efforts and enhance your account's access to features. If you choose to wait until you are notified or until you receive an email like this, you have 30 days to complete the process, including any errors and subsequent resubmissions. So what's in it for you? Well, Google will allow you to access some features that are restricted for those who have not been verified. For example, displaying your business logo next to text ads or adding your business name as an extension in the Google Ads platform. Additionally, Google Ads will allow access to more advanced ads formats like HTML5 ads and local service ads. So how do you do this? Well, here's the new Google Ads UI, and I'll show you how to do it here first. If your Google Ads interface looks something like this, all you have to do is hover over to the billing section and then click on advertiser verification and then here you go you can just get started here now this is really a mechanism to confirm the identity and legitimacy of businesses running ads on the platform it involves submitting business documentation and information to ensure compliance with google ads policies and it's also a good mechanism to maintain a secure and trustworthy advertising environment now, once you click on this button here, the idea is you'll have to submit required documentation. So Google will request specific documents to verify your business. Commonly required documents include a government issued business registration certificate, a tax identification number, or even utility bills with your business name and address. Now it's crucial to upload clear and readable copies of the requested documents in the specified format. For example, a PDF, a JPEG, any image format will do. JPEG, PNG, these are the ones I believe work best. Now, the idea is you'll have to submit documents that are current, they're not expired. Now, if they are expired, resubmit them with proper documentation that is not expired. Don't bring those documents into Photoshop and alter them. Google will detect this and then they will flag you for circumventing systems and you will then subsequently be suspended and they won't reinstate your account. So this is something I do not recommend. Ensure that all the information on the documents matches the details provided in your Google Ads account. Now you move on to the next step and hopefully it's now submitted and ready to go. So all you have to do is head back over to this section and just monitor the status. So once you submit these required docs, Google will review your information and this process may take several days. You can check the status of your verification in this section, like I said, or in the old UI, I can show you how to get there in just a moment. Once your verification is approved, you'll receive a confirmation email and your account will display a verified status, allowing you to continue running ads without interruptions. If additional information or clarification is needed, Google will notify you via email with further instructions. Like I said, this is the new UI. All you have to do is go to billing and then click on advertiser verification, then click this button here to start the process. Now in the old UI, let's switch over to that one. We're gonna to go to tools and settings and then under billing, go to advertiser verification. And here you are back at that screen, click on this button here, and then you start the process. Again, you can revisit this area here to see how the process is going. Now the old UI takes a few more clicks to get to this area, but effectively you can be brought to the same spot. So you. Go to this area to not only start the process, but to monitor the progress of your verification. Okay, 
So hopefully this was useful. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good one and get to it. This is necessary. Okay. Have a good one. Bye-bye.